Hey guys, it's Kelly Jo. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video of my everyday makeup routine or like get ready with me kind of a thing. I just thought this would be kind of fun to do. Um, I've never done this before. My <laughs> makeup routine is very, very simple. It's nothing complicated or crazy. I'm not a professional with makeup, so keep that in mind. <laughs> and I'll just show you everything else that I do to get ready, which is basically makeup and hair. So <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just thought this would be um, a fun video to do. I, I just woke up, so I'm tired. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yes, let's go ahead and get started. I have like no plans today, except for staying here at our new apartment. We just moved to a new apartment about like, well, I guess about a week ago. Yeah. Um, and we have pretty much everything unpacked. Um, except for some stuff so i'm mainly just gonna be unpacking today and yeah so i don't really have any plans so get ready with me to go pretty much nowhere today <laughs> so this is my makeup bag that i keep all of my stuff in it's not a lot of stuff but um yeah it's kind of messy in here but i'll just show you what all i have and what i use so the first thing that i do is I will put on my foundation. Right now I'm using this one right here. I've never used this brand before because last time I went to Walmart, I couldn't find the one that I usually use. Um, but I found this one. This is the L'Oreal Paris True Match Super Blendable Foundation. And I got it from Walmart. I pretty much get everything from Walmart. And then I usually take a beauty blender <laughs> And this kind of just, you push down and it squeezes it out. And I'll just kind of just go all over my face with this. I have pretty light skin, so I got like the lightest shade that they have. Um, I'm not quite sure what shade this is. Oh, this is warm light shade, so. Sorry if I sound like nasally. I have really bad allergies right now, so. <laughs> I'm gonna be surprised if I don't sneeze like five times throughout this video, so. <laughs> yeah, I just kind of put this everywhere on my face. Sometimes I don't even do my whole face, like I'll just do certain spots that are kind of red or whatever. So we have our foundation on. And then the next thing that I do is I put on a little bit of bronzer just to make myself look less pale. Um, so yeah, this bronzer is actually from Dollar Tree. So we're doing our makeup on a budget. <laughs> um, yeah, I literally got this bronzer from Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna take a brush, go like that, and then just put this all over my face just so that it puts some color on my face. And this bronzer is pretty good for being only like a dollar from Dollar Tree. Let's put some on my neck. There we go. Then the next thing I do is I put on just a little bit of blush. And usually I use like the, I think it's by Maybelline or something. It's um, just like a powder blush, but I ran out of that. <laughs> So I have this blush stick, which I've never used before. Well, I've been using it, but I've never tried something like this before. I believe I got this from Timu actually. I probably have a video on it, um, but this is what it looks like. It's a stick, so you open it and that's what it looks like. You can twist it up to get more out. Um, but yeah, so this stuff is very pigmented, so you don't need a lot of this. So you just kind of go like that Put a little bit on each cheek so you kind of look like a clown. <laughs> and then I just take that same beauty blender and I will blend it in. So it's blended in like that. And then I'll just do that with the other side. And I tend to do it like, <laughs> now it looks pretty good, but I usually tend to do one side way more, it like, Usually my, like both cheeks don't look the same. I tend to accidentally do it more on one side than the other. So sometimes I have to go back with my foundation 
and kind of just even it out. I don't even know if you can even tell that I did anything on camera, but I can do, I can kind of see it still. Just do a little bit more. Like in real life, you can notice it a little bit better. Then the next thing we're gonna do is eyes. And then we're pretty much done. <laughs> I usually don't do anything really, <clears throat> really with like my eyebrows. Um, but I do have this eyebrow like gel stick, which I also got from Timu. <laughs> I believe I have a haul video of it. I'll put it on the screen. But yeah, I've just been using this. It's just like a little brush and it has like some type of, I don't know, gel on it or something. And it's supposed to kind of smoothen out your eyebrows and keep them in place. So I don't know, I've just been using this. I don't know if it really does much for my eyebrows, but I usually just put a little bit of this on. And then I do my eyelashes. So I have this eyelash curler right here. And I just kind of put it on there and squeeze it and I hold it for a couple of seconds and then let go. And it just kind of curls your eyelashes. I used to be so scared of these things because I was like, what if I accidentally pinch my eye or like rip my eyelashes off? But they're not that scary. So I do that and honestly, I, We'll usually just put on mascara and I call it good after that. But um, sometimes I will put on a little bit of eyeshadow. So for the sake of this video, I'll show you that. I have several different eyeshadow palettes. I'm just gonna choose a random one, which is this one. I got this one for Christmas one year. I still have <laughs> quite a bit of it. It looks like it hasn't even been touched, but I've used it some. I usually just pick a random color and I'll just go in on like the inner parts of my eye and that's all I put on. So I think I'm gonna do, I don't know, I kind of like this glittery one right there. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on my brush and you're just gonna do a little bit on like the inner part of it my eye, not like the whole thing. And then we'll just do the same thing to the other side. And sometimes we'll do more than one color. Like that one's pretty light. So I might go in with like, <clears throat> sorry. I might go in with like a darker shade. I'm sorry, this is kind of bad lighting too. <laughs> um, so yeah, sometimes we'll do this where, I don't know if you can see that, like, you see I have like the dark color right here and then it goes to that light color. So it kind of has two colors. Sometimes I do that too. So yeah, pretty simple, but that's how I do my eyeshadow if I do that. So, <laughs> okay. And then the last thing is just mascara. So this is the mascara that I use. I love it. I need to get another one because this one's kind of old. But I use this e.l.f. one. It's the Lash It Loud Volumizing Mascara and it's waterproof. So I just go ahead and put it on. So yeah, it's pretty cute. It's nothing like crazy or, you know, it's just very light and I like it. So, all right, that is it for my makeup part of this video or my routine get ready with me routine that i do literally every day so now for hair which i always like this part because you know me i like doing my hairstyles so i think for today i'm gonna do a half a puff down hairstyle and it's one of my favorite hairstyles that i've been really liking or loving to do lately i'm just gonna brush out my hair because it's looking a little bit crazy. And I'm gonna go ahead and do a side part for this. So I just take a comb and part my hair kind of just on the side, kind of where it naturally falls. Okay, so once I have my hair parted, like how I want it, I just flip my hair back like this and I take my two pointer fingers and I go by where my eyebrows end 
and I just slide back like this so that I have half of it kind of parted like up like that. And then I take my comb and I smooth it out just because usually there's bumps and stuff like that. And then I kind of pull some little pieces from the front. And then you'll just take a regular hair tie or you could use like a little hair elastic. And I'll turn around so you guys can see this. But I just start tying it off into like a regular ponytail. So I twisted it once and then I twist it twice. And then when you do it the third time, you're only gonna pull it like halfway, like this. So you have a little bun. And then what you do is you take like the, the little tails of the bun and you split that in half. And then you're also going to split this top part in the middle. And then you're gonna flip that bun underneath like this. And then you can kind of tighten it with those tails. So now you have this bun that's at the top and you can pull it apart like this. And usually I have to get out my mirror because I can't see what I'm doing. Now you just kind of mess around with it till you like how it works. And it's supposed to be kind of messy. And if you have to like bobby pin it up a little bit, which I'm gonna probably have to do, you can do that. Okay, so I couldn't find a bobby pin, but I kept on messing around with it till I liked how it looked. So this is the hair for today. You just got this cute little bun hairstyle. And it's okay if it's a little messy, which mine's a little crazy looking, but we're just gonna go with it, so. And then I usually just hairspray it a little bit so that it stays better. And then, knowing me again, you can't forget the lip balm, because I always have a lip balm that I use every day. This one is actually from Lip Smacker. This is a Halloween one. This is called Chilling Citrus. So that's gonna be my lip balm for the day. I usually just choose a random one out of my box of lip balms that I have, <laughs> my crazy collection, and we're all done. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed um, my get ready with me routine, makeup routine, whatever I'm going to call this. Um, make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe to my channel and like this video if you made it to the very end. I really appreciate it and I'll see you all in my next video. Let me know if you try out this hairstyle. Normally I can do it pretty good on the first try but I had to redo it like three times so <laughs> sometimes you know days are just like that so yeah I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!